How's it going guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're back in the shop and I'm going to be testing out my latest acquisition, the 40 pound Harbor Freight Blast Cabinet. That's what we're doing today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Obviously, this is not an assembly how-to video. I've already got this thing put together. There are plenty of those videos on the internet already, and I didn't think that YouTube really needed one more. But I was having some difficulty finding videos of people actually using this and talking about how well it worked and kind of how it works. So I think those are the kinds of things that we're going to be covering today. The way the cabinet works is actually super simple. The first thing that you have to do is open the side door where you can pour 40 pounds of your media down into the hopper. Once you got that done, just hook up an air hose to the air inlet there and you're ready to go. As you're blasting, the media will fall back down into the hopper and this, this uh, pickup tube here will pick it up again and just sort of recycle it over and over until the media is worn out. In my research, the one thing that I found most people agreed on is that when you hook a shop vac up to this blast cabinet, it'll clog that filter up in a matter of minutes. So what a lot of guys have done and what I've done as well is build a little cyclone dust collector for this thing. If the thought of a cyclone dust collector sounds intimidating to you, it really shouldn't because it's actually a very simple thing to make and pretty cheap as well. All I had to buy was this bucket, a lid, and then a replacement shop vac hose kit. And that was everything I needed to put this together. On the bucket, you have to cut yourself an oval shaped hole so that this hose can come in on an angle. Then just take your lid, drill yourself a hole in the middle with a hole saw and glue the hose in like that. After your silicone has a day or so to cure, all you got to do is put the lid on the bucket like that and you've got yourself a cyclone. The hose that comes out of the side of the bucket on the angle here will hook up to the cabinet and the hose that comes out of the top of the bucket will go to the shop vac. The replacement hose kit that I bought is for a Craftsman shop vac with an inch and a half hose and the fittings that are included in the kit actually hook up to the cabinet and my shop vac with no modification. So that was nice. When I first made this, I was really skeptical about how good it was going to work and I'm sure some of you guys are as well. So before I hook this up to the cabinet, let me hook it up to the shop vac and we'll just vacuum, vacuum some dust off of the ground and I'll show you how good it works. Fortunately, in this shop, we don't have to go too far to find a pile of dust on the ground that needs to be vacuumed up. So let me just hook this hose coming out of the top of the bucket into the shop vac and we'll see what we can do. All right, let's open these up and see who got the most dust. All right, we'll start with the shop vac. You can see that thing, I mean, there is not a speck of dust in there. Well, maybe a speck, but it's pretty darn clean. All right, now let's peek in here. Yep, there it is. You can see it. That's where everything ended up. So yes, the dust collector definitely works, but we're not here to talk about dust collectors. We're here to test out this cabinet. So let me go take a part off of the tractor that I've been wanting to sandblast and let's test it out. Thanks, donkey. <laughs> the other day I removed the bulb out of this taillight housing and I noticed how rusty and faded the paint is. So I think this is a good candidate to try out in the blast cabinet. And if that bolt will come loose, it'll be even better. How about that? All right, so we've actually got three total pieces here that uh, make up this rear tail light, and I'm gonna blast all three of them and see how they turn out. So I think first I'm gonna blow them off with some compressed air just to get all the dust and uh, the, the easy stuff off of there, and we'll throw them in the cabinet and see how it does. Jesus. You know, I'm actually glad that I caught that on camera because it serves as a good reminder to go through and tighten up all your hose clamps whenever you buy something like this. I actually just had the same problem with the sprayer the other day. So check your hose clamps. All right, back to what we were doing. Well, 
I guess there's nothing left to do but just get to it. So, let's give it a try. After my first use of the cabinet, I have definitely learned a couple of things. Let's go over them. First of all, walnut shells are probably not aggressive enough for what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to remove paint and rust, which apparently is a little bit taller of an order than I had thought. And I think uh, walnut shells, they're just not going to cut it. The results on this piece are okay. They're not terrible, but there's definitely still some paint on here that it just would not get off. So I need to try something else. Um, a little more abrasive, a little more aggressive. The pickup tube that picks up the media and funnels it through the gun, I felt like was surging a little bit. Sometimes when I was holding the trigger down, I don't think anything was coming out. I know there's some modifications that I can make to the pickup tube to make it work better. I was kind of hoping that that wouldn't be necessary, but it's really starting to look like that it is. This dust collector worked awesome. I was wondering if I might need to wear a respirator while I was blasting, but Honestly, it never even entered my mind once I was going. Visibility inside the cabinet was perfect. I mean, it was just like looking through um, a window, because it is a window. <laughs> but there was no residual dust hanging in the air that made anything hard to see. I think this is a must do. The lighting inside the cabinet is definitely not the greatest. This is actually something that a lot of people upgrade. They put uh, bigger, brighter lights in there. If your vision isn't the best, that's probably something that you're going to want to do. Um, otherwise, I mean, it was okay. It was good enough that I, I don't really see myself upgrading it, but I mean, it's, it's definitely something to consider. Now, let's talk about the biggest problem that I kept having with the cabinet. Twice, this air supply hose that goes to the gun blew off of the barb that goes into the cabinet. Now, at first I thought that it was a problem with the Harbor Freight hose clamp, so I replaced that with a real one, and it still blew off again. So after it blew off the second time, I took the barb off and gave it a better look, and it's pretty obvious what the problem is. So take a closer look at what they're calling a barb fitting. There's really only one edge to catch the hose, and right behind that edge is this other raised area. So when you're putting the hose clamp on there, it's really not biting into anything. The barb fitting that comes with the cabinet is total junk. I don't know who over in China thought that this was going to grip a hose, but it doesn't. If you're going to buy this cabinet, definitely plan on buying an actual barb fitting so your hose doesn't keep blowing off like mine did. So as is the case with almost everything that you buy from Harbor Freight, with a few little upgrades and a few little modifications, this actually has really nice potential to be a great little blast cabinet. After these few little issues are addressed, I have no doubt that this thing is going to be put to a lot of work here on the ranch. Thanks for hanging out in the shop with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.